Hello everyone, I'm Alicia Woodruff and welcome to The Fort Report. February is Black History Month across our nation. It's a time to celebrate our diversity and its growth and recognize the contributions of leaders and everyday heroes in the African American community. It gives us an opportunity to look at the accomplishments of African Americans to the overall history of here in, in, in America, what we've done, what we're doing right now, because it's a continuing process of history in the making. And to be aware of it, the fact that, that African Americans uh, play a major role within the overall city's growth and development and the diversity, and that's one of the things that make Fort Worth so, so important. While a national celebration, the history and contributions of the African American community in Fort Worth, both in the past and as we grow as a city today, gives our city plenty to celebrate as well. Dr. Gwynn, who was the first uh, black to serve on the Fort Worth City Council, uh, Walter Barber uh, served on the City Council, so there's, uh, and, and uh, there's a significant number of African Americans who have taken leadership roles and, and, and moved the community forward. So uh, it's quite significant, uh, along with many of the people that we have on board right now, probably one of the own, uh, only uh, historic heritage center, the Center for Stop Six Heritage, where we've actually gone in and documented the history of a neighborhood. So these are some significant things. While we're thinking about those who struggled for civil rights, February is an important time for one of the most important civil rights, voting. City Council elections are set for May 11th, and those interested in seeking a seat must file an application for a place on the ballot by March 1st. 2013 is an important year for municipal elections because this will be the first with the new council district boundaries approved by the U.S. Department of Justice in 2012. New boundaries mean that you may not be voting in the same district, so don't wait to find out which district you are in. You'll find candidate information and a tool to look up your council district at fortworthtexas.gov slash elections. And don't forget, you must register to vote or make any needed updates to your voter registration by April 11th to vote in your district for the May election. Visit your county election website or visit votetexas.gov to learn more. And now, for some other dates you'll want to remember, let's take a look at the calendar. For a list of more events and city meetings, you can always check the calendar at the city's website. 